Hello everybody, this is Wolfgang von Lattman from Chalice of Immortality.com and today in this video I'm going to talk about genetics and why genetics are not the root cause of your problems and how you can overcome this so-called you know fact of science that oh you know you're a victim to your genetics and you know you get these diseases because of genetics and you know oh there's no use in trying to be healthy because you just got poor genetics. Now before I begin, I just want to tell you guys that I had already recorded this video, it came out perfectly, but unfortunately my camera was not recording, so I'm going to just swallow the disappointment and re-record this because I actually care about getting things done, okay, and I don't let limitations and excuses get in my way, alright? So let's try this again. So genetics. Genetics, um, they play a very small role in the results that you get in your life. They play a role, but not nearly as big a role as most people think. Most people overemphasize genetics. They exaggerate the impact that genetics has on the results in life. People use genetics as an excuse for why they can or cannot do the things they want to do in their life, especially in regards to reversing disease, diabetes, heart disease, Crohn's disease, irritable bowel syndrome, fibromyalgia, many forms of cancer, and the list goes on and on. These diseases in particular have all been shown to be reversed despite any percentage of genetic influence. Also, many other goals, all right, uh, athletic endeavors, you know, um, money-oriented goals, any of these things, regardless of circumstance or genetics, how strong lean, healthy, or athletic one can be. Um, it doesn't really matter as much as you think. There are many people with bad genetics who are getting strong, getting lean, getting healthy, and especially reversing disease. It has nothing to do with coincidence or praying to God or steroids. Sometimes steroids play a role in athletic endeavors. A lot of times they do. But come on, don't let these excuses blind you, you lazy person or you misinformed person or whatever. Sorry, I don't mean to be so judgmental. I just really, really care about the human race. and I really want for people to get great results and it just hurts me when people delude themselves and don't live up to their fullest potential because you only live once. So why do you want to suffer? Most people are choosing, choosing to limit themselves, okay? And they don't see it. The fact is, even people with great genetics very commonly are in poor health and never see the positive effects of their so-called good genetics. This this is crazy. People with good genetics, you know, are over there are being fat or you know unhealthy, getting diseases that they're not even genetically predisposed predisposed to. Um, this is because they don't do the things that are proven to get great results, and they're actually doing things that are proven to give them bad results. Okay? They're doing the things that have been shown to cause disease or the things that have been shown to, you know, to get them in bad places in life. So, you know, genetics play a role, but as you can see right here, even people with good genetics don't necessarily get great results purely based on genetics. This is because the habits you practice over time are going to triumph over any genetic role or predisposition. And with the right actions and knowledge, you can reverse almost any disease and achieve results that these genetic-minded people and doctors and so-called science uh, uh, religious leaders, technically, most likely assume are impossible. Okay? The genetic-minded people are going to place limitations on themselves and on you and everyone else that don't actually exist. If you assume you are a victim of poor genetics or coincidence or circumstance, then you are going to suffer. You're going to suffer not because of poor genetics, but because of a self-fulfilling prophecy. Because you think it's not possible, because you think you have poor genetics, and therefore you will see evidence as to why you can't achieve something. This is a fact, okay? This is a false mindset. You're placing limits on yourself that don't actually exist in reality. And the, pre the, um, the reticular activating system, okay? 
It is a part of the brain that actually exists. Uh, it's, it's, it's there. It's a scientific fact. Um, basically, it's a part of the brain. It's your filter. Everything, all the information you see and you choose to tune into and you choose to believe, this part of the brain actually actively seeks out situations and bits of information that back up whatever it is you focus on or whatever it is you believe. And you can test this out simply by um, repeating a color to yourself, green, 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 green. Over and over again, you're going to start to see green, green, green all over in your environment. If you say, you know, I hate my life, I hate my life, I hate my life, you're going to find this. And when you believe something's true, you may not realize it consciously, but these thoughts actually creep up in the back of your head. And the secret is to start to find evidence to the contrary. Okay, if you believe in God, start to find evidence that God doesn't exist and allow yourself to, to, to investigate this and your belief will crumble. Okay, this is the way it is with everything. So, you know, the fact that doctors have been telling you all your life that genetics are the reason and, you know, you've been seeing people fall victim to diseases and you believe, oh, my grandpa died of this disease and it does run the family. That's the only reason that you believe it's true. It's not because it actually is true. So... Um, so once again, you know, you're placing limits on yourself that don't actually exist in reality. And the only reason you believe it is because you've been told this all your life and you constantly see evidence that it exists. So find the people who are doing the things you want to do and study them. Okay. This will give you the evidence. Like seeing, like if you're 75 years old, for example, and you believe, oh, I'm too old to, you know, to... To do powerlifting or too old to be a bodybuilder like yeah that's an old age but there actually are people out there who are 75 years old and they're doing bodybuilding which I don't really like and don't feel like it's healthy but they're doing bodybuilding they're doing strength training powerlifting that pick up martial arts that pick up dancing at that age it's very 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 possible there are people who are doing it surprisingly enough um, but the sooner you start the better off you're going to be find people who are doing the things you want to do and study them Follow them. Okay, let go of this bullshit, these excuses. Stop stop finding reasons to, to feel comfortable. It's only going to make you self-loathe and you're going to be filled with regrets at the end of your life. You only live once, okay? Reversing a disease, achieving a great accolade. There are people out there who are doing what you want to do and you are only harming yourself if you choose to blind yourself to these limitations. Wake the fuck up. You only live once. So why choose to limit yourself? And why choose to suffer? You know, and to put to put the to put the lid on the coffin, the nail in the coffin, there's actually been studies done. And I know plenty of people who have who have seen this in their own life, but there's studies that have been done where you take one half of a generation of a family and another half, and you put one half in a society. That is uh, that has healthy habits and is is uh, you know doing everything that's been proven to provide health to an uh, organism, and then you take another half and you put them in you know a modernized society like the United States. The half that is in a healthy society with a great climate with uh, high quality food that doesn't allow carcinogens in the food supply and that emphasizes relaxation and that emphasizes patience and all, all the things associated with health, those people are healthier. The same family is healthier just because they live in a healthy society. Whereas the people who eat fast food, process sugar, uh, they do the nine to five jobs and they live in the rat race and all these other things, they tend to suffer from diabetes usually and heart disease and other diseases, okay? Two, uh, two, uh, separate groups but from the same exact genetics and they get different results this is actually what's happening here your doctor may say oh you know it runs in the family you know look at your grandpa and your uncles you know like yeah your grandpa and uncles might be suffering from these diseases but it's not genetics it's not a genetic thing it's a society thing everybody in our modernized uh, society industrialized culture they're, partake, they're participating in the same unhealthy things. Eating, you know, pizzas and drinking sodas, uh, eating fast food, processed sugar, frozen dinners, 
you know, drinking inner drinks, all these things, and they're doing stressful jobs and working all night. I mean, obviously, you know, duh, that's why your entire family's sick. It's not genetics, it's because we all live in the same society. How the fuck do people not see this? It's crazy. But this is the fact, this is the truth, all right? And as our, as our world becomes more and more like the United States and other industrialized cultures, um, we're gonna see more and more genetic, you know, like, oh, it runs in the family type of thing. Like, it runs in the human race now because of our disgusting habits. It's the habits that you continue and repeat over and over again that stack up and create these results. It's not age, it's not genetics, okay? They play a role, but seriously, they, they don't play as much of a role as the habits, okay? So genetics are about 15%. Don't let it limit you. Don't let it limit you. Realize that you can do it. This is not some kind of like, you know, motivational speech. This is reality, okay? If you, if you arm yourself with the right knowledge, you'll get the results you want. Don't follow the dogma of like what you think is healthy. There's people who like have diseases and whatnot and they're following a vegan diet or something and then their condition has not gotten better and they're thinking, oh, I'm doing everything I can. I'm following the best diet in the world. How come I'm still sick? Well, it's because there's no such thing as the best diet in the world. It's because, you know, for certain diseases, the vegan diet will work and some diseases it won't. The same thing goes for paleo. Like some diseases paleo can be great for and a lot of diseases it, it won't be, okay? Um, you know, but there are a lot of people who have reversed diseases on, on veganism. But, you know, if you're sick and your condition's getting worse, chances are you're still doing things that are harming you. That's usually what it's all about. People get on medications and whatnot and they get sicker and sicker. And then they think like, oh, I'm gonna go on some vegan diet or some raw meat diet or something. And they're still on a medication and their, their condition gets worse. Well, what about that medication you're on? You know, that could be contributing. Have you ever researched that? Most people don't. It's dogma and they blame it on genetics. And doctors, doctors know this, but then again, they don't. All right, most doctors, they, they just assume it's genetics. That's what they're taught. So, you know, break free of that. Leave your questions and comments down below and let me know what you think.